What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Tech Preacher. So if you got a Galaxy Note 10 Plus or Galaxy Note 10, you just received this update. Now, a lot of y'all guys received the update before me and look, different regions, different areas get updates, different times, different places. Well, I just received my update for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I'm excited because it brings in the number one feature that I've been waiting on, wireless decks and some other enhancements. So let's go to the update it and see what it's all about. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I'm excited for this update, this specific update. And the reason why is because a lot of you guys been asking me, should you upgrade from the Galaxy Note 10 to 10 Plus to the Galaxy Note 20 or 20 Ultra? And I always say that wait for the software update, you're gonna get all them software enhancements that's gonna get, that, that the Galaxy Note 20 has, is gonna trickle down to the Galaxy Note 10. And here it is, right? now. The, this update brings in something that is very special to me because I use this all the time. Wireless decks, right? Also, you get some Wi-Fi enhancements. You get the always on display with Bitmoji stickers and stuff like that. Uh, you get a new Samsung keyboard, cameras, you're getting some pro features enhanced. Uh, you get some messages stuff enhanced. You get Samsung Note importing PDFs. Now that's important because on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, uh, on my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I use that device uh, to sign a lot of PDFs, to import a lot of PDFs, and that feature was not on the Galaxy S10. So that's bringing in uh, that new feature. Also, we getting uh, One UI 2.5 update. I guess that's what this all is, right? And this huge update is 1.5 gigs. So let's go ahead and update it and see what it's all about. Let's go. All right, guys, so the update is complete, and this is the moment of truth. Let's go on and look at the software enhancements that this device has. This is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and this is the hugest update that I've been waiting on because, again, you're getting all the features, almost all the features that the Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra have. All right, so let's go on and look at the software update. So, we running One UI 2.5, not One UI 2.1 that was previous uh, on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now we running a One UI 2.5, which is great. Now it's saying the software update is successful. Now this is the T-Mobile variant. This so y'all know I have the T-Mobile variant and the update is here. Android 10, One UI 2.5. So let's go ahead and do the moment of truth. The one that I've been waiting on, right? Wireless DeX. That's what I'm talking about. So now you have a toggle on your on your drop down menu, and this is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Uh, now you do have a, a toggle now uh, that says Dex. So there go Dex is here, and this is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This is Dex right here. Now Dex is special to me. Uh, wireless Dex is even better. Uh, I got the Galaxy. I have the Galaxy Z Fold 2 here, and this also. Uh, has wireless DeX. Now this DeX is connected to a monitor. And the moment of truth for me is I want to see if I could connect my Galaxy Note 10 Plus wirelessly using DeX to a monitor. All right, so let's pull this out the way. And I want to show you guys really quick. Let me get a monitor. All right, so this is a, a monitor. I do have my stream beam connected to this monitor. Right now, I have uh, the, the Galaxy Z Fold is connected via wirelessly uh, to the monitor. So at this point, I can use uh, the touchpad and I can do anything I want wirelessly. And the latency is really very, very, very low on this one here with the wireless. So now I can use my device wirelessly uh, right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is on the Z Fold 2, I'm going to disconnect uh, the the DeX, wireless DeX from this monitor. All right, so uh, that's gone. All right, now I'm saying it's ready to connect. Again, I got my stream beam too. So, Here's the moment of truth. There it goes. It just showed, it just popped up my monitor. Oh yes. So let's start now. And survey says, now we connecting. Let's make the magic happen, baby. 
Ah, now we got Dex. Wireless Dex now is on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is so dope, right? Because if you're if you're a Galaxy Dex fan like I am, uh, now you can use it wirelessly. That means that you can connect uh, a Bluetooth keyboard to your device and utilize this as a mini PC. So now, wirelessly, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and now wirelessly connect this to a PC. Now you can get work done. Now I can do my OneNote, my Word, my PowerPoint, everything wirelessly straight from the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So you're gonna get all the enhanced features that you know and love uh, with this device. And wow, it does feel snappy. It's really fast at this point, guys. So. Look like the performance is better. Uh, look like we got One UI 2.5. Look like we got everything we need, uh, all the enhanced features and everything in between. Now they did talk about some camera enhancements, so that's gonna be key here. Uh, I will go back and revisit the cameras on this device, especially the, one of the key features of this update was to enhance the features. So uh, in, the, in the camera app, let's go look at the camera app real quick and look at more. You still got all your stuff, but I see something red here popped up on pro mode, on pro video. All right, so pro video. Wow, okay, ah, look at that. So now, I, this is something new here. I didn't have this before. So you can adjust and make some adjustments with your audio uh, here on your pro mode uh, with your uh, Galaxy note 10 plus all right so you look like you could do some enhancement as far as with the audio front rear abnormal and let's see what it got. hold on a second let's go here let me look at this okay let's go to pro video all right yes so you do have all your mic features uh from your galaxy note 20 ultra it's been uh trickled down to the Galaxy S, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. A lot of people always talk about, they don't worry about software updates. They don't care about software updates. If the device come out and it, it is what it is, they don't worry about software updates. This is one of the reasons why you want software updates, to enhance the experience and to give you uh, the, the latest software that the newer device have always trickle down to the older device. And it didn't take that long, by the way. All right. so. Wireless Dex, Galaxy Note 10 and 10 Plus. Wireless Dex, Galaxy Note 20, 20 Ultra. Wireless Dex, Galaxy Z Fold 2, right? Wireless Dex, Galaxy S20 FE got wireless Dex. Also, the Galaxy um, S20 Ultra, wireless Dex, right? But what don't have wireless Dex, and that's a shame, is the Z Fold 5G, I'm sorry, this is CZ Flip 5G, does not have a wireless DeX, and it is running the latest software. Samsung did not bring in wireless DeX to the Z Flip. That's frustrating, that's kinda, I, I don't know why that Samsung did not bring wireless DeX to this device. Matter of fact, this phone don't have DeX software at all. So that's really strange that Samsung did not put no DeX software on the Z Flip, but it brought DeX software to everything else in this lineup. I'm gonna pull out my Galaxy S10 and 10 Plus, probably got the same software updates. I'm gonna rock that and see if the Galaxy S10 and 10 Plus got the same updates. And if it does, I will make a video about it so we can see what it's all about. This is Eric, the tech preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Should Samsung bring DeX to the Z Flip? I think they should. I think they should complete the whole lineup. I think that Samsung should bring it to the Z Flip. Why not? Uh, they brought it to the rest of their lineup of devices, so why not bring it to the Z Flip? But it's not here. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace. I'm excited. Yes. Thank you, Samsung.